DJ Pro has a huge selection of effects and ways to use them. And we got some more updates with the 5.3 updates. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about effects in the DJ Pro app for the iPad. One of the biggest changes to the effects was now we have a neural mix mute effects. So to access this, we're gonna to go to neural mix and then it is going to be up here, up to the top right. If it's off, it'll be in gray. If it's on, it will be highlighted in yellow. This adds an echo when you get rid of the vocals when you're doing neural mix. So when you switch to like an acapella, it's going to echo out the vocals. And if you do it at the right time, I'm still practicing this, but you do it at the right time, it sounds really cool. It echoes out the vocals and then it goes into an instrumental. Great for transitions or DJ tricks. And it really makes taking out the vocals sound a lot more polished and professional. And for now, we only have three modifications, which is one beat, uh, three quarters beat, or half beat. But there is a list here, so hopefully maybe we'll get even more effects, like maybe a flanger or a reverb. But for now, we got echo, so I'm going to show you what it sounds like with it off. So this is off. So it kind of just disappears. It doesn't sound that polished. There's really no resonance and it just gets rid of the vocals. So now let's do it with it on. And again, I'm still practicing the timing, but I'll try to get a good one. So it sounds really polished and you get that echo sound with it. So that's with three fourths. I'll do it with one beat. So it sounds really cool. So I definitely test this out with songs that you play a lot. You can set your cue points and do it at the right time. And it sounds really cool. So that's the mute effects with Nero Mix. You could also access it down here with the Nero Mix section. If you open that up, you could turn on and off the mute effects right there. Speaking of this little button down here, we have a new way to access our effects. So you press this and we used to have a slider for Nero Mix vocals only, instrumentals only, which was super helpful to have this extra button. But now if we press the drop down menu and yes, we get a new drop down menu. You know how I love the drop down menus. And we could go to effects. So now you have effects one and effects two, but how do you know which effect you're using? Well, you press the drop down menu again and then now you select. So if FX one, we could choose any of, any of the effects that we want. So we could put a twist there for effect one, drop down menu again, effect two, side chain. So now we could use effects this way. So a really cool way to use effects. And yes, we could go over here to our features and have effects, but if you want to use Nero Mix there on both decks and then you wouldn't have an access to your effects, but now you could use this button for effects. So a cool new button for effects. So now let's go to the effects section. So this is our effects section. If you watched any of my previous videos, I go over this. I made about like 12 videos about this, but you could have manual. So you could choose up to three effects here turn it on and depending on the effect, you'll have a way to modify it and then you'll have the wet and dry over here. I'll get back to this section in a second, but here you could have a pad effect. So it's gonna add high pass, low pass filter. You could use your finger. It makes, it takes advantage of the touch screen. A lot of controllers have these touch pads. So it's really cool to have this here. So it's, And you could see the filter moving. So it moves the filter depending on where your finger goes. And then you could choose any effect that you want. Instant effects, this you just have to press it once. And then you could change these with the pencil button, put any effect there so you could choose it. Some controllers use the instant effects, some use the manual. 
So back to manual, another thing that I want to talk about is you could choose your effect. So I'm going to show you with this reverb here, choose your effect, but now you could choose the routing. So you can make it vocal only. So we're going to have a vocal only flanger. So the flanger is only affecting the vocals and you could do more than one stem at the same time. So you could flanger the vocals and the drums. Every moment comes through, every year should be in between. Or you could do drums only. You could really let your creativity run wild. So you could have all three, uh, three effects controlling a different stem of narrow mix, which is super cool. You just choose the routing there. These really cool Nero mix symbols will be next to your effects, and you can see it here. If you choose more than one stem, you're just going to get the Nero mix sign. But either way, it's it's really cool. And if you want to find out more about Nero mix for this software, check out this video over here.